Okay, we're in the Turbonetics R&D room right now, and what you're looking at is a test rig that we've got set up for the new Duo 35 blow-off valve. And what we're doing is some longevity and durability testing uh, on the valves, cycling them through a simulated blow-off. And what you've got here is a counter that's measuring how many cycles the valves have gone through. Uh, a couple of boost pressure gauges up here. Uh, they're running at 15 PSI and a compressor setup with a solenoid that activates the valve as soon as uh, it sees 15 PSI. It's in an oven that we've got set to a little over 200 degrees Fahrenheit to simulate engine air temperature uh, and operating temperature cycling on these valves. So open this up and let you take a look. So just the right valve is running right now um, on its cycle test here. And it's an incredible amount of air coming out of this valve, just to show you. So imagine uh, your turbocharger receiving the brunt force of spinning and pushing through all that air once the throttle body closes when there's no blow-off valve. Unbelievable amount of air pressure coming out. So the new Duo 35 is going to be released in a little bit as soon as we go through our engineering tests here. Uh, really excited to get this valve released. Uh, we've got to run this thing up a lot higher than uh, 40,259 times. Um, incidentally, 40,000 times is a little over oh, two years of use, I think, uh, based on uh, the real world calculations that we have uh, measuring how many times the blow-off valve actually engages and moves on a real car. So we'll check back with these guys a little bit later, see how they're doing.